Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at tabbed panes. So I'm actually going to change this application so that um, instead of just having a table here, we've got a tabbed pane and one tab's going to have the table in it and the other tab's going to have a very fancy looking uh, message reader that will, um, well it won't actually do anything but will um, work on making it display messages from retrieved from a, an imaginary server because that will give us an opportunity to um, look at some more interesting string components. So in this tutorial we're just going to do the tab pane bit and I'm going to start by declaring a private J tab pane here which I'll call tab pane tab pane and right here before I create the split pane I'm going to set the tab pane to a new J tab pane and I'm going to add the tab pane to the um, split pane instead of the table panel. So here I'll put tab pane instead of the table panel. Um, and if I if I run that in a moment, we're not going to see anything interesting because there's no tabs in it. Um, but um, now I can add tabs to that tab pane. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the first tab I'm going to add, I'm going to say tab tab pane dot add tab and you can give each tab a title and um, a component to display actually in the tab and you can also if you want specify an icon for the tab as well but I won't do that here I'll just use this form of the constructor so I'll say um, here person data base um, and that'll be my first um, my first tab and in there I'll put table panel uh, and then I'll have another um, tab pane here, another tab, I'll say add tab uh, and I'll call this messages and in there um, I'll just use the text panel for the moment that I, um, I had in an earlier version of this application and let's get rid of the extra either and put, put it in the right place, there we go, messages and um, something else that's worth mentioning here is um, you can also set a custom component um, by saying if you say tab pane dot uh, set tab component and you supply an index the index is a zero based and um, then you can set a component that actually appears on the tab like for example you could implement your own close button but I'm not going to do that here I'm just going to have very simple plain tabs so if I run that now I've got two tabs and one tab has my person database in it and the other tab I'm going to turn this into a sort of message panel. Um, so that's it for this tutorial um, and in the next tutorial we are going to look at tree controls so join me again then and until next time happy coding.